Ever since GM announced they're making a handful of new V8 engines, the biggest comment I've been getting is, are they getting rid of the cylinder deactivation and the DFM systems? Well, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is, it's definitely getting the cylinder deactivation. Not only are they getting it, GM is in the middle of redoing the whole system, redesigning it, and this could be better or worse. The good news is, it could totally replace the DFM. You won't have to worry about that because if this works out the way they planned it, they're not gonna worry about the DFM anymore. But they did file some new patents and the patents are showing some detailed design ideas that GM has. And I'm not so sure about this. Here's picture number one, part of the patent. And to me, this just looks like a normal V8, right? Nothing looks special about this right now. But Here's what it says. The system described in the GM patent is intended for use in engines with rocker arms and push rods, also known as overhead valve engines. They rely on controlled hydraulic pressure to disengage the valve actuation on certain cylinders. It's possible that the system will be implemented with the new Gen 6 small block engines and could even replace the DFM system introduced on the 2019 Silverado and Sierra. So right there, DFM could possibly be eliminated, but we're still getting this owner deactivation. It also says at the center of the system, this is where it gets weird. At the center of the system, is a rocker shaft that mounts to the engine assembly and contains an internal bore of hydraulic fluid. An oil control valve, also known as an OCV, is mounted to the rocker shaft and coupled to the internal bore. Multiple rocker arms are mounted to the rocker shaft with each rocker arm connecting a push rod on one end and a valve stem on the other. A subset of these rocker arms includes a spring lock unit attached at the push rod end of the rocker arm. So now it sounds like instead of hydraulic lifters, we're going to get hydraulic roller rockers. Good news, if you want to see any kind of good news here, is that when the system fails, it'll be easy to access. Just pull the valve cover off and hopefully you can get to it from there rather than tearing the whole engine down. But there's a lot more. Here's another picture. Obviously we got the camshaft here with the roller uh, lifters, cylinder heads above it, all the push rods and everything in between. And I'm guessing this big old log of a thing here is gonna be the hydraulic valve system that the rockers are gonna attach to. I don't know. It's just, it's some more complication than we need. So let's get into some more details they're giving us on this thing. It says, during normal operation, the rocker arm activates the push rod and the valve, allowing the valve to open and close. Now, when the cylinder deactivation is needed, it pressurizes the hydraulic fluid that is routed through the rocker shaft and into an insert sleeve mounted within the internal bore. The insert sleeve includes a feed port that directs the hydraulic fluid to the OCV, as well as the feed pocket that transmits fluid from the OCV to the spring lock unit within the rocker arm. All right, so it sounds like the rocker arm is this huge ordeal itself. So, so your typical rocker arm, which is usually stamped steel, this thing's going to be quite complicated with valves and locking springs and things like that where when the fluid goes through them basically shuts down the rocker arm the way it would a roller lifter or the hydraulic lifters in the old system well like i said good news is at least it'll be easier to access uh it says when the high pressure hydraulic fluid reaches the lock spring unit in the rocker arm the unit disengages the rocker arm from the push rod yeah this sounds like it's going to be a nightmare this doesn't sound like it's going to be good either. Uh, this prevents activation from the push rod to the rocker arm, effectively stopping the actuation intake or exhaust valve from opening. And as a result, the cylinder is essentially deactivated. Okay, so hydraulically now we're shutting down the rocker arm, which then shuts down the ability to open and close the valves. It, it just seems like they moved the problem from internal to external, which is fine by me. If you're going to have 
something weird, at least make it easy for us to deactivate. Maybe we can just take the whole thing out and put normal rocker arms on. Call it a day. I don't know. Now, I understand they're chasing down gas mileage. People aren't buying a truck for gas mileage. They're not. Yeah, they suck up gas like crazy. They're a truck. They're going to. Who cares about this crap? But at least it might get rid of the DFM. Silver lining. Some solace, I guess. I don't know. What do you think? At least I think we're taking a step in the right direction by getting it out of the engine block and moving it somewhere that's easily accessible. So what are your thoughts on it? New deactivation system from GM is now being put into hydraulic roller rockers. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. I'll catch you in the next upload.